the greatest effort today was on the west abutment. With concrete curing nicely on the east side, all efforts and the whole priestly team moved to the west abutment. There was drilling for rebar to be inserted into the face and a considerable amount of hammering. The extent of the engagement is pretty clear here. A considerable effort is being made to cut back the existing edge. Work is also going into tidying up and clearing the site. Concern to maintain a tidy worksite is a priestly hallmark. Even the machines have a role to play. The assault on the abutment edge was relentless. I'm not certain, but I think this interesting cloud resulted from the use of an air gun to clear material. Work on the abutment was no less intense as the day wore on. It became clear too, I think, that support for the Trunnions was still resisting. However, the back shelf appears almost ready and the holes for rebar are present. There are just some stubborn relics of the old bridge to address. Before we cross the gap to check in on the temporary bridge, let's have a look at the very helpful water taxi. The water taxi clear, let's check out the situation on the temporary bridge. It's clearly going well. Often building their own work platforms as they go, the iron workers are doing a great job. At some point, they must run out of fasteners to fix. But not today. We'll end today's update with a run along the bridge. Check out all the braces and stringers and the obvious strength of the structure. Thanks for watching and be sure to come back for the next update.